Mississippi, the home of Elvis Presley. So, I guess you could say, Candy Beckett entered the building. <laughs> Back in Tupelo, you can't shoot a Civil War cannon down the street without hitting an Elvis impersonator. I mean, we're lousy with him. Now, as you all know, Elvis was pretty fat when he died. But we have like 300, 400 pound Elvises. And, and if the real Elvis is still around, even he would say, hey, Bubba, maybe you should put down those fried chickens and get a little exercise. Here, give them to me. I'll hold them for you. <laughs> See, that's the thing about people where I come from, especially compared to people in LA. Mississippi folk aren't the most attractive people in the world. Like, my green, Lucy May. I love her a lot, but if Moses would have come off the mountain and seen her, there would have been an 11th commandment. Thou shalt wear a paper bag over thine head when it smoothes about in public. <laughs> Y'all, I can tell you, where I come from, we are so backward. We don't even have email. I mean, when we got out here, someone invited us to a party. Okay. So, my mom asked them for the address. They said, 45672bundyhop at AOL.com. And, my mom, she asked me for the cross date. Uh, duh, hello? <laughs> also, the girls have two names. That's why it takes so long for us to say something. My mom gets confused. She would say, Katie Beth, go get Mary Beth, Katie Sue, Susie K, Bobby K, Chinga Changa, and James Earl Jones. <laughs> Y'all, I gotta tell you something. I have some weird relatives. Like Marie Laveau. Down in Louisiana, where the black trees grow, lives a voodoo lady named Marie Laveau. She's got a black cat suit and a mojo bone. And anyone that wouldn't leave her alone, she go. The man's gone. She lives in a swamp in a hollow of love with a one-eyed snake and a three-legged dog. She's got a big pony body and strandy hair. If she had seen y'all mess around there, she'd go, ah, another man's gone. And so my I came back as making the baby.